Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Paula. Today I have another Dollar Tree haul for you. So um, let's just get right into it. Let's see, uh, health and beauty, let's start with that. Um, this is a repeat purchase, Lavora's Fresh Breath Mouthwash, and this is in the Fresh Peppermint. And it is 16.9 fluid ounces. So my husband likes that. He wanted a, he was out, so he wanted another one. Also, um, Colgate baking soda and peroxide whitening toothpaste, toothpaste, toothpaste. Whoops, I think we're crooked here. Sorry about that. Um, this is 60% more free. So it is the four ounce and um, he enjoys this, this kind of, uh, the baking soda and peroxide, that's the one he likes. So, so I got him two because he told me he was out. And then keeping on that same kind of a theme, my son likes these placards, um, dental flossers. There are 60 in this pack. Mint, the mint flavor, I guess. So I got him those. These are nice. I prefer the ones that are just straight, but they're not for me, so. <laughs> Okay, so I finally found the Scrubbing Bubbles Bathroom Cleaner Foaming Bleach. Erases mold and mildew stains. This is a refill and it is 32 fluid ounces. Clings 2.5 times longer. So I figure, I mean, there's no top, but I have the Clorox cleanup. I'm thinking maybe that trigger sprayer will work on there. I don't know. I'll find something, but for $1.25, you can't beat that. And this is with bleach, so it's good for the mold and mildew. I'm looking at it and it expires. Say what? Let me get my glasses. I know I have them. Excuse me, I have to reach for my glasses. Sorry. By the way, this is a Dollar Tree eyeglass holder. <laughs> I think I'm reading for 2021, uh, 4-14-21, huh, I, hoping maybe that's not the expiration, that's really small, I, I wouldn't have been able to see that at the store, actually, I didn't even look, I saw other people hauling it, so I thought, well, this is going to be okay, um, I don't know, maybe that's why it's at the Dollar Tree. But I'm going to give it a shot anyway, even though it's a whole year after. Uh, maybe that's when it was. Some of these um, products have the date that they were made on them. Maybe that's what this is. Because it doesn't say expiration. It just has a date. So, I don't know. But I'm going to give it a whirl anyway. So I got two of them. One for the upstairs bathroom and one for the downstairs. Uh see anything else in that kind of a category okay uh, let's let's do this um 40 uh, 45 sandwich bags by sure fresh this is a repeat purchase I use these for um just little snacks and things they're okay the zip lock the zipper seal is not that great but this one has a double seal I liked it when it was one seal and it was like a thicker seal this one is hard to seal but I still have my regular Ziplocs that I use. This is just for like things that are like little snacks and whatnot. Anyway, that's a repeat purchase. Another repeat purchase here, Heinz Hot and Spicy, Heinz Hot and Spicy Tomato Ketchup. This is a 14 ounce. We like this a lot. Now this is gonna expire in July, but we just started a new one, so I'm thinking but we'll go through it in 7, 10, 20, 22. There's the expiration right there. So yeah, but this is really good, especially with fries or whatnot. Oh, and then these I passed by last week, but I saw someone else hauling them. I forgot who it was. I think it was Couponing Girl. Um, she said they're really good. They look good. 
Creamy Delight Hard Candy, Blackberry, Peach, and Strawberry, artificially flavored. Um, okay. They look really good. So I'm tempted to try one right now. It says, nine servings per container. Servings are five units, and they're 80 calories. So there are 80 calories in five of these candies. So let me just try a strawberry, which is my favorite. I can tell you right now. They're small. Where's this one? Very, okay. They're small. So let me, sorry for the noise. I'm just going to open that real quick. Oh, they are really, this one's broke. You get half the candy in there, I guess. Maybe they knew I didn't need the whole thing. Mmm, that's good. These, I can feel, have a, I believe, a full candy in there. Full circle, not half a circle. Very good. Highly recommend those. Yummy. Okay, moving on. Uh, another repeat purchase. These are the uh, Essentials Cobweb Duster. I bought a few, a few of these before. And these go in just like on a regular broom handle if you have one at home. If not, Dollar Tree does sell handles for these. Let me show you. I want to make sure it's right side up here. Um, my husband uses these for work and he said they're very sturdy. He said they're better than the ones we buy at Home Depot for like, I think it's like $20 each. They're very, um, the bristles are firm. The other ones are very uh, soft, so they just like smush together when you're using them. And you want them to be firm so they can get all the cobwebs. Anyway, I got two more. And let's see. Oh, this was a new thing. I was kind of surprised to even see this. I'm like, what is this? So by rubber mate rubber rubber mate <laughs> rubber made <laughs> mobile car vent sanitizer holder so it's it's uh well let me show it to you so it says here sanitizer holder you get the sanitizer holder the vent clip and the four ounce bottle so you just put your sanitizer in the bottle and then you clip it onto your vent and you have it right there instead of having to dig it around from you know I usually have mine in the cup holder so instead of having to dig for it here's a picture I don't know if you can see it the glare I thought that was pretty neat two hooks for holding Oh, and it's got two hooks for holding face masks. Not, not a lot of people wear face masks anymore, but in case you do, see that right at the bottom there? There are the hooks. That's pretty neat. Well, I should have got more than one. Huh. I would open it, but it's got all of that rough packaging around, and I don't think my Dollar Tree scissors. Well, I can try it. like we're getting somewhere one more one more side that way I can show it to you sorry for the noise when you do this you got to be careful because this will cut too. this hard plastic will cut your hands surprised my scissors haven't fallen apart yet okay here we go got it oh yeah, it wouldn't be my video if something didn't fall. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. Sorry for the noise, trying my best here. Okay. Um, so you've got your your holder. You've got your clip. I'm assuming that goes in there like that. Yeah. See how that goes. Sorry about the lighting. I'm doing this video a little later today and the lighting is not that great. Okay, so you got that. Then you have your bottle, your spray bottle. So I don't know how, is that a spray bottle? 
I don't know about that. How are they going to put hand sanitizer in there? Isn't that gel? Unless you put alcohol. Then you put that in there. You got your two little clips for the mask. I don't know. Is that going to, is the vent going to hold all of that weight? I'm not sure, but we'll give it a shot. That's pretty ingenious, huh? I don't know how many ounces the, um, bottle is oh four ounces four ounce bottle so yeah that's interesting oh oh and I got I don't know <laughs> where does that go I think that might go right here like that I don't know I'm thinking that it would screw on there and then put that in there yeah I'll have my husband figure it out yeah I tried but you know moving on um, so I gotta say I found a lot of cosmetics I didn't buy them but I took a ton of pictures so make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video there will be pictures at the end of all the cosmetics I saw I have seen people hauling the V, what's that, V&A? I don't know what this is. V something? Let me see if I put my glasses on if it says it's somewhere else. This is Walt, Wild and Wolf Limited. In the UK, um, from the UK. Huh. And, um... Well, anyway, this is hand cream. I'm just trying to figure out the manufacturer. I think it's V and A or V and something. I mean, so they had, um, I guess I just missed it. One of my Dollar Trees had hand cream. They had mirrors. And what else did they have? Uh, just some different kinds of mirrors and emery boards. I should have got the emery boards now that I'm thinking of it, but I didn't. Just to put, throw in my purse. Anyway, um, this is Peony and Lily Scented Hand Cream. It is, um, yeah, it is V&A. Inspired by the V&A, celebrating creativity, the V&A is the world's leading museum of art, design, and performance. Discover more at vam.ac.uk. Okay, so it, will, it is V&A. The packaging is just so pretty. I've seen other people haul these like a long time ago and they're just now coming to my Dollar Tree and I had seen like lip, lip gloss, lip balm. All I saw at my Dollar Tree was the hand cream, the mirrors and emery boards. And it just was thrown, there wasn't much of anything. So I guess I must have missed it, I don't know. I don't go to the Dollar Tree every day. I used to go twice a week, now I know I go once a week. But I, I hit all the Dollar Trees, though, like four or five of them. Okay, let's see what this is like. Oh, how pretty is that? This is how many ounces? Um, I'm having trouble here. I think it's net weight, 1.7 fluid ounces. And uh, founded in 1852. It just tells you all about that. And this is the garden. This is called garden wallpaper. The design of it. it tells you right here on the back. And let's open it up, shall we? And see. Okay. Yeah. There is a little thing right there. Hmm. Don't smell much. It's a faint smell. Oh no. Oh, that smells darn good, I gotta say. Oh, nice. Very moisturizing. Oh, wish I had bought two, but I have a hand cream from Yardley still. The one that smells like the Dragon's one. Anyway, I'm glad I got this. This is really nice, really nice. Highly recommend this. And this is the, I don't know if they had other um, scents, but I did take pictures. I'm trying to get this thing on here so I can close it back up. 
I did take pictures of all that they had, so you will see this and pictures of the um, mirrors. Just the box, I didn't take it apart. But yeah, this is nice. Peony and Lily hand cream, very nice. Good for Mother's Day for sure. Sorry about the lighting, it keeps getting dark. Okay, keeping with that same theme, they had some lip glosses, or lip balms. This says, Yes Studio, Read My Lips Lip Balm. This particular um, flavor I got is the raspberry. They had other flavors. I took pictures of them all, but um, let me just show you. This is 3.5 grams, point, uh, 0 0.23 ounces. I, they had other, I don't remember what the other ones were, but stay tuned. At the end of the video, you will see all of the pictures of all of the makeup and things. So this is lip balm. And I'm going to open it up and see what it's like. I think it's in the, I don't know. Okay, here we go. Oh, how cute is that? It's like the paper on the outside. You read my lips. And... Okay, it's like a lipstick. Clear. Ooh. It's not very... It's not very slippery. <laughs> I don't know. I already have lip gloss on, so I can't put it on. Oh, it smells like raspberry, though. The smell is really good. I'm liking that. So, I want to try it out. They have it. Uh, I think I saw this just in one of my Dollar Trees, the same one that had this. I did go to another Dollar Tree, and I saw just the mirrors of this kind of the B&A. That smells really good. Hmm, really good. Okay, there's that. Now I think I'm out of um, cosmetics and food. So next thing we're gonna go to is crafting. I saw quite a few people hauling these stickers. I think Laura from Laura's Craft Room hauled these. And I can't remember who else. Uh, I think it was Happiness is homemade her channel. She hauled that. I can't remember her first name I don't know if it's I don't know her name. Anyway, happiness is homemade also hauled these um, They had a lot. I took pictures of them all uh, But I only bought this particular um, Style so these are stickers. These are like pop-up stickers How pretty these are And they had farmhouse type ones. They also had farmhouse stencils, which I don't know if I took a picture of, but they did have them. So this first wreath says welcome. And then it has one that says faith and love, home, family, and grateful, thankful, and blessed. I'm there for that. So there are two, four, six, one, two. There are five big ones. And then one, two, three, four little ones, little like, you know, leaves and things, fern. I don't know what that is. But I thought those were so pretty, so I got that. Also in the Crafter Square, you know how I was buying all those um, beach-themed or nautical beads with the, with the charms on them? Well, now they have the beads all by themselves with no charms. So most of my beads in my stash, let me reach for this. Sorry, I gotta reach for the um, the measuring tape. Um, most of the beads in my stash are round. So I did haul another square one, even though I have a few from the Dollar Tree. And I like these because I don't have to paint them. They already have like a whitewash on them, where the ones from Amazon are just regular wood color. You gotta paint them. That's such a hassle, but anyway, these are, about 19 inches wide. I mean, long. Let's see how many beads. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
There's 35 beads in here. They also had the round beads. Now I have quite a few round beads in my stash, but they are bigger. The millimeter size is bigger. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't show you the, uh, on the square ones, the tag. So this says wooden bead garland. And then the round ones, I'll show you the tag on that. Wood bead garland, same. And I believe these are probably the same. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. Yeah, 35 also. And I don't know if these are gonna be just as long because these beads have a smaller millimeter size. Yep, they're 19 inches long. So I was happy to get these for my stash. I did purchase two. Okay, and then I purchased another one of these easels. I have one, I'm already using it, but I like to have one just, just in case, you never know. Because the one I had, I bought just in case, you never know, and then I ended up using it for something. So this is just the wooden easel, just says easel. I painted mine and I use, I'm using it currently on, for a picture, but it's a nice one. So I got that. And I just saw Laura from Laura's Craft, um, craft Room make a tear tray with these and some wood. Go check that video out. Uh, go check her channel out. I'll link her down below. She's very smart. That was just a really pretty tear tray. Very smart, very um, creative, I should say. Both. <laughs> Excuse me. So next thing I got was this candle. Um, it is, this is, the, this is a big candle. I was like, wow. Life is better in flip-flops. Tropical vacation scented candle. They had another one. It was, this is kind of a teal color. The other one was yellow. I don't know if it was coconut. It didn't smell good to me. So I got this one. It's really pretty and you can DIY it. It's a nine ounce candle, so it's a big candle. Uh, this is what it says here. Now I saw Christina, I wanna make sure I get her channel right. I think it's Christina Ford Home Designs. I'll link her, link her channel down below. She uh, made a DIY with this kind of candle. Um, it came out so beautiful. You'd never even tell it was a Dollar Tree candle and it didn't, it's just really pretty. So I'll link her channel down below and you can go check her out. Um, it just it was so so pretty I really really liked it so that's probably why I got this I'm thinking I'm gonna do something like that with it so and it smells really good all right next thing I got was so I hauled this ribbon last week it is just floral garden mesh ribbon I hauled the ivory and the white this is kind of the brownish color I like this because I think I'm going to wrap I'm going to make a crown of thorns for my um cross that I made. I already have the crown of thorns and I wrapped the white one around it. It just kind of, it looked kind of thorny that way, but I think this color would work better. It's more for a thorn color. <laughs> anyway, so this is how much is this? It just doesn't say. I don't know how many feet are in here or whatever. Let me get my glasses on. Almost done, guys. Just a little, a few more items. Oh, 2.5 inches by 108. So it's three yards, nine feet. This is so pretty and unusual. I really like that. Okay, and then I got this cosmetic bag, Sassy and Chic cosmetic bag. It says beautiful on it. I don't know what I did with my cosmetic bag. I had a Kate Spade one. Then when the pandemic hit, I put it away. <laughs> I don't know what I did with it. Anyway, I thought this was so pretty. They had all kinds, really pretty ones, I guess, for Mother's Day. Um, yeah. So let me just measure that for you real quick. So across it is eight inches and up and down is six. So it's eight by six. And let's make sure that, yeah, it's pretty roomy and it is um, like plastic. So I thought that was pretty. Use that. And then the last thing I picked up. So they had some new post-its. I had them in my hand and I put them back, but I did take pictures of them. But instead, I got another pen. I didn't have this color. 
I took pictures of all the colors they did have. It's so pretty. It's a diamond pen or something. Anyway, this is, uh, it just shows you the item. I had never seen it in a silver. Look how pretty that is. It looks like a diamond on top. I have a whole collection of these pens, but I can't pass it up, especially because it, um, uh-oh, are you kidding me? For real? They turn. This one. They're supposed to turn. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, okay. Whew. That was a hard one to turn. Leave it to me. Okay. Yeah. So you turn it. I like that. You turn it and it's not, or a clicky one too. I just don't like something that has the cap because I always lose the cap. And let me just see what color this writes in so I can tell you. It's black. Black ink. Okay, and I believe that's it. Yeah, that does it for my haul. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, that's a hard one. I think I got a, a, a temperamental one here. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to um, watch my videos. If... Um, you enjoy them, please consider subscribing if you haven't yet. And as always, thumbs up is appreciated. And stay tuned for the pictures. I took quite a few pictures. Hope you enjoy them. Until next time, be well and be blessed. Mm -hmm.